In this video, we will show you how to replace your front sway bar link. On this Dodge Ram, you'll have two of these, each of them mounted under the front of your vehicle. Let's get into it. Okay friends, let's get started on our job. Carefully make your way under your vehicle. We're looking along where your sway bar is. You'll find your sway bar link leading down to the bracket of your differential. To remove the sway bar link, we'll start down along the bottom. Typically, you're going to find that you have a cotter pin holding in this in place. Use some cutters or pliers and go ahead and pull that right out of there. We'll set this aside. We'll use an 18 millimeter to remove this mounting nut. We'll pause in this point and make our way up the sway bar link to where it connects onto the sway bar. Up above your rubber bushing, you'll find that you have a metal washer and a 17 millimeter nut. Let's remove that nut, the washer, and the upper bushing. Sometimes these will be stuck in place. We'll just give that a couple bonks with the hammer to drive it out of place, and there it is. Let's prepare our brand new sway bar link for installation. Down along the bottom, we'll remove this neoprene locking nut. On the top, we'll also remove that neoprene locking nut, the metal washer, and the upper bushing, leaving the lower bushing and the lower washer in place. Let's take this and start putting it in position. To do this, we'll start by swinging the top up and in, and then we'll bring the lower aspect of this stud in and through the differential here. Sometimes you might need to flex your sway bar up or down as needed. Let's take hold of our top bushing. We'll slide that down and on there you'll find that you have this little area that protrudes downward. Continue on to your washer. We want the concave area facing down. So it essentially cups that bushing. Continue on to the smaller of the two nuts. Make sure you have the blue neoprene facing up. Once that one's on there, we'll continue on to our last nut right down along the bottom stud here. Now we can continue tightening these. To tighten the top one, we'll be using a 15 millimeter wrench to hold the shaft here. We want to make sure that it's not spun in one direction or the other. We just want to make sure that this lower ball joint area is as flush as possible to the lower bracket. Now we can tighten that upper nut. Once we've done so, we'll torque it to 27 foot pounds. We'll tighten the lower nut and torque that to 40 foot pounds. Use a 19 for this. Okay friends, we fully installed our front sway bar link. The process for one will be the exact same thing for the other. And typically when you do these, you wanna do them as a pair. After you've completed that, go ahead and take your vehicle for a road test. Make sure you don't hear any funny noises. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.